today is finally the graduation fashion show of the seniors and it's a really exciting day for them because they're finally going to be able to show off their collection that they have been working for months and months on end. And it was our job as volunteers to make sure that everything went smoothly and that everything would go well during the show. to take a lot of videos at first because they advised us not to take any videos because well they didn't want any well behind the scenes leaking before the show itself so yeah at first I really didn't take any video but then I realized well I'm not gonna be posting these videos right away anyway so yeah I took some videos here and there when I wasn't busy so yeah, let's start with the morning. We all arrived at around 7 to 8 a.m. because we were all going to help with preparing the backstage and that involved, well, getting the clothes from the trucks, um, sorting the clothes, and yeah, fixing the racks so that each rack will have the specific clothes for a certain model. And we also arranged the racks based on who will go first, who needed the most space, and so on and so forth. And that's what we mostly did in the morning. And oh yeah, also, this morning we were also going to try dressing up our models for the very first time. So our models arrived around 10 to 11, I, I think. So they arrived and then we tried putting the dresses on them for the very, not dresses, the clothes on them for the very, very first time. And to be honest, when well, this thing happened like the very first time we put on the clothes on the models. I was kind of culture shock because, well, so this is how it happened. Like the models came in and I didn't really think about what they were going to do when we were going to start dressing them. But basically what they did was they, how do I put it? They dressed down to the very bare essentials. That means uh, undergarments and yeah, I was pretty shocked that they were able to do that and then I realized like well yeah it's part of the job because they really have to put on a lot of different clothes and well the only clothes they needed was their undergarments a uh, really strong thing for them to do and because you know I personally couldn't do it but you know I guess it's just part of the modeling industry anyway so we did that we tried dressing our models for the very first time so we would know if the clothes needed any more adjustment or if anything if anything's not gonna fit them right yeah and yeah so well luckily for mine everything was good and went well it was just well some clothes were more difficult putting on than others and yeah that's a, that's an important thing we have to take note for later anyway after that we had lunch and then Moving on to the afternoon, we well, we started preparing the main stage. So while well, we weren't exactly the ones who prepared the main stage, we were just the ones who helped put down the chairs, who helped put covers over the chairs, and yeah, after that we what do we call that? What do you call that? We had a what's the word for that? We had a trial run through for the whole thing. I think that's what you call it. So yeah, per per designer, they had a collection, right? So during this run through, they had the models come in and then the designers, they would like tell them um, what poses they wanted, what vibe they wanted from the models and the models tried and practice that. And yeah, that's what we, that's what basically happened during the whole run through. We, well, the designers, they told what vibe they wanted from the models, what kind of poses, I guess, how long should they stop on the very end of the runway, and yeah, it was, it was a really interesting thing. We, we weren't able to get any dress rehearsals for that because well, some people were still sewing, fixing some parts of their clothes, or like some models were still doing their makeup, and yeah. 
we had a run through and then after that after fixing the backstage and everything it was finally time for the runway itself so when it came to the runway um at, at back they had this like you know the paper and then they wrote the orders of the models and if you were lucky your model wasn't going okay wait i have to explain this um some models they have more than one designer assigned to them so that means they would have more than one one set of clothes for the whole show so that means they have to if like this is designer a designer b and that model is a model for both of those designers the model has to quickly change once she gets back to the backstage to designer b's um designer b's set of clothes so that he could so that he or she could be part of the runway of designer b so that means if that scenario happens that means you really have to dress your model really really quickly and it's something really really pressuring because you know as i told you a while ago some clothes were really hard to put on so you really had to do your best to put on your clothes to put on the clothes for the models and it's it's okay because well sometimes you have help so that means no matter what happens someone if if you think you need some help someone will be there for you hopefully and yeah that's basically what a lot of us did we were oh yeah as i did mention earlier we were dressers for the models that means we were the one who helped put the clothes on to the models so yeah going back we have this manila paper with the designers who will go first and the models and yeah luckily for me my model had like um first her first clothes her first clothes yeah she had she was part of the first one who went to the runway and then she was then part of the third and then she was part of the last so that was lucky for me because i didn't have to rush putting on her clothes because well, there was one set of clothes that were really, really hard to put on and it really took some time and that set of clothes was for the last collection, for the last designer and yeah, we made it, we made it through. Thank you so much for helping us today. A great success everybody really enjoyed it and yeah it was a really great learning experience for me because I was able to learn well what is going on what's going on behind the scenes of a of a fashion show and yeah if you really want to get into fashion I think it would be a great it would be a great help to be a volunteer for one of these fashion shows so yeah it was a really really great Today I had a lot of fun and I'm sure my friends had a lot of fun too.